Hey friends, uh, I want to take a few minutes today and talk about the spacing effect and this cool new feature in 7taps that will let you actually implement it a lot easier than what was possible before. So I'm going to start off a little bit of background here. So uh, Herman Ebbinghaus discovered the forgetting curve back in the early 1900s. And basically what the forgetting curve tells us is that if we don't do anything to retain it, the information that we learn, we lose pretty rapidly uh, right after that learning experience happens. So fortunately for us, there's a, something we can do about it, something called the spacing effect. It's uh, one of the most well-known and well-studied principles in learning science. And really what the spacing effect is, is if we present a learning point and we put in some sort of delay of some amount of time and then represent that same learning point again, you're likely to get that spacing effect to occur and help your learners remember the information you presented uh, much better. So you can see here in, in the graph, the blue area is what the forgetting curve looks like if we don't do anything at all without any repetitions. If we add some strategically spaced repetitions of those same learning points, you can see the impact of our memory and we're gonna remember those things uh, a lot better over time. So it's really a, a no brainer sort of approach to take. Another nice thing about it is those repetitions don't have to be lengthy. So short ones can be just effective as long ones. There's a, a study that showed that a five second repetition of a learning point was just as effective as a five minute one uh, if you set those up correctly. Art Cone has a nice rule of thumb that I like to use when I'm setting these up to, to uh, implement. So he says, repeat the memory boosters. That's what he calls the repetitions. Repeat them two days, two weeks, and then again, two months after that initial learning experience. For anybody who wants to really dig into the details of the research, uh, go check out Will Talheimer's site over at worklearning.com. Uh, that report's definitely worth spending some time with and learn everything that's in the science behind the spacing effect. So up until now, up until 7taps came out with this new feature, managing the whole process of who gets what and how do I deliver it and when does it go is really a big kind of a pain. But now that 7taps has come out with this learning pass feature, it's really made that process much easier to manage. Uh, it's almost a no brainer now here once you get it set up. You can even choose between the channels you want to use to deliver those brain boosters or those uh, repetitions. So you can choose email, SMS, text, uh, even Slack and Teams is coming soon. So if we pop over here and take a look in 7taps and, and how that works, what we can see is there is a new menu item for learning paths. And the process is really pretty simple. So I'm just going to go under that learning paths menu to create a learning path. First thing I'm going to get is a choice of how I want to send that learning path. So I'm just going to take uh, email SMS. Now I'm going to get prompted through a little wizard that's going to walk me through the steps. So this is my initial learning point in uh, part one. Then I've got three follow-ups that I'm going to time out. So I'm going to do an infographic as the first follow-up. I'm going to do a little uh, audio piece as the second follow-up. And then uh, a spacing effect quiz as my third follow-up. So I'm just going to set the timings for those. Um, I'm going to use Art Cone's two days, two weeks, and two months. So two weeks would be 14 days. And then if we do two months, we'll do say that's going to be 60 days. So we've got that all set up. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say continue. If you have users here, this is where you can select 
users or add new ones using email or phone number. So I'm just going to use uh, the one that I've got in there for now. I've got a summary here. This is going to let me check. So let me give this a new name so I can keep track of it. So we'll call this uh, spaced learning. So I know which one is which. Um, I can schedule it to start at a future date or I can start it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch this now. So save and start. It's going to tell me it's going to start within 10 minutes. And now that's it. It's up and running. So if you're curious in trying this out, go over to 7Taps, create a free account if you don't have one already. Uh, give this a try. I think you're really going to like it.